Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. My name is Elder and today I'm finally able to share with you the video preview of my new product for Blocks 5, Minimalist Blocks Library. And this is going to be a very casual video. I'm prepared. I will just show you how it looks, how it works in Blocks app. And keep in mind, this is still very much beta and it will be released publicly. I think uh, at the end of this month. Before we start, I want to thank beta testers who have been helping. And I want to thank Norm, the developer of Blocks app, who have been very helpful adding the amazing features to Blocks 5.1 beta, which you can download today, making my product even more exciting than it was when I first started developing it. So once you get the minimalist blocks library and install it on your computer, and by the way, I'm not going to show you how to install it yet because the installation process might be a little bit different in a couple of weeks. You will have this minimalist starter. I think I will call it minimalist library or something like that. You will have this site template and this is the site template you will need to use for every project you are going to work on in your blocks application if you want to take advantage of course of my minimalist library and as you know when you open the site site template you can add some website name you can change the logo like colors and then we have the fonts for now, I will just skip everything and get to this uh, style guide. I will replace this with the official complete version closer to the release. But from here, you will be able to change the colors, uh, change the fonts and stuff like that. But after you finish doing that, you can just delete the guideline you will have. And all you have is just an empty blocks project. And like I said, you will have to use this project because it has hundreds and hundreds of classes it has some custom code as well in the code editor and once you open this project you have an option to choose the library now in blocks 5.1 after you install the minimalist blocks library you will have three options here and the first one will be the regular minimalist library which will have hundreds of pre-designed sections fully optimized for all breakpoints, fully optimized for SEO, and all of the settings will be set for every single one of these. And this will be perfect for designers who like to have the full control over the style and colors. But if you want, you can switch to the minimalist dark and minimalist light libraries, and this will be already colored, styled, and there will be some custom classes applied to the buttons and some other elements and it will save you even more time if you just want to have a website ready very fast. Important to notice that these minimalist blocks library sections are different from the regular custom blocks I've been providing for many years because these use the same custom classes, they share the same global swatches, the same design language, making it super easy to mix different sections to build one website without any conflicts for colors, for classes and stuff like that. And of course, I will continue to provide more and more sections every single month. By the way, I'm still working on the navigation, for example, section. It is still not ready as well as Hero and a few others. But once you get this, you can see that there are different types of headers, for example, let's add some some cool header like this as well and you basically assemble the website like you want so let's have let's assemble some simple website here and we can kind of build the sections like this we let's say you want to have some well if you want to have, have some gallery we can add some gallery here we can add some call to action we can add some pricing tables we can add some well i think these are the testimonials we can add some team sections and by the way in blocks 5.1 you can now click on this eye icon to preview the custom block much closer and this will of course be very useful for my minimalist blocks library so let's say that we want to have some design like that for our team we will have some let's say we want to have some 
FAQ section. So maybe something simple. Maybe something like like that. Something like that. And let's add let's add the contact section and we will add some footer. So if you are a designer, this is probably what you could do. Let's click on preview and see how this looks. You can see everything looks great. You can see that this is the tapped content brick. There are some animations somewhere, some beautiful cards. You can see some beautiful FAQ section as well. All the forms are all st style set up and everything. And after you assemble the page, you can go through your color swatches, add the colors you want, style everything like you want, and be ready to publish your website. Of course, change the content. So by using the minimalist library, you can save days of rebuilding the simple structures because these are quite repetitive and they're all optimized for all breakpoints, as you can see. And you don't need to rebuild them from scratch every time. You can just use the custom sections I have created here. And like I said, I will add more and more every month. And all of these are fully optimized for all breakpoints and very easy to edit. But if you want to build websites not in days and not even in hours, but in minutes, instead of using the minimalist library, I will be using the minimalist dark and light libraries. And let's start by adding some navigation. Again, I still don't have most of the navigations I have been developing. For now, I will just use this one. And again, now we can actually create something completely different. It will be already styled. We can switch between the light and dark to create the design we want. So let's say we want to have some light section here, maybe some images here, maybe some video. And it doesn't look like a lot here, but this is actually very cool. I will show you in a second. Let me quickly assemble some kind of page here. This some content maybe some percentages maybe some gallery let's go to light and add some testimonials we can add some carousels here as well these testimonials we will add some team let's add some I think this one will be, well, actually this one maybe, this one will be cool for our FAQ section. We'll add some contact section. Of course, we can use the drop down menu here to switch between the categories, but I will just maybe add this one and let's add some cool uh, footer like this. So let's say that this is the design I want to have. Maybe let's add a couple more dark sections. For example, this one actually very cool for the team. And let's say the, another one for the testimonial. Obviously, this is up to you. You can choose wherever you want. You can have multiple pricing sections here as well. And I just want to show you how easy it is to edit later. So once you're ready, let's say that we are ready. This is the design for our website. Let's go to preview to see how this looks. And all of the animations, everything is fully optimized. As you can see, we have this model also optimized and customized. We have these rounded corners and you can see that the whole website kind of has these rounded corners here. All of the images, all of the buttons, you can see all of these tails and cards. Everything has these rounded corners. Have this carousel here. Some beautiful gallery, this whole effects. Beautiful pricing section. Some cards. Again, there will be many, many more and I will continue to improve these ones because we can now update the custom block. Let's say that I want to change the accent color instead of blue let's say i want to have something like orange or whatever 
And to do that, we can just select any blue element here, open global swatch manager, and here we have two options, primary and primary variant. These are the same we had when we were starting the site template. So let's say I want to have, not pink, let's say something, something closer to red, red color. And the second bright primary variant should be the lighter version of the red. So I will have maybe something like that, something like that. So by changing this, you can see now that all of the buttons, all of the icons, all of the special effects, all of the tar uh, all of the cards, all of the tiles have been modified to be red. You can see even hover effects, icons here as well. All of these have been modified to be red. And these were well, these are red on when they are open automatically, but now they are red here as well. Okay, let's maybe change it to to green. So let's go to green. Let's say that we, we want to have this is the regular and this is the lighter version. Something like that. And as you can see now, everything is green. Stuff like that. The, the template will come with lots of pre-installed and pre-customized custom classes. For example, you can easily add the gradient to this to any block and again when you change the color for your let's say primary color to something different say this will be orange or something like that you will see that the the whole theme of the website of your website will be changed so that's all cool but let me show you a couple of other magical tricks you can use with this product first one is how easy it is to change the fonts across the whole website you just open the first class here and instead of roboto let's say that i want to use inter we will select the inter regular and you need to find another class which is bold and just change this to inter well, extra bold and that's all by changing these two things everything on your website will now be in inter you can see the the text is changed across the whole website and all of the custom blocks you will add after that will follow the same font so let's go to light let's say that i want to add this section here subscribe for free you can see it is already using the inter font and in addition to that there is actually another very cool trick you can open btn this is for the buttons obviously and if you go here of course we can change the font for all buttons at once so maybe we wanted to make it a little bit bolder but in addition to that and this is actually very cool you can go to radius in the button type zero and as you can see all buttons on our website are now square but not just buttons if you go to class editor and find radius global radius class of course i will provide all of the guidelines later when this is public and you set the radius to zero set it to important you will see that everything images buttons even the models all the tails are now square completely square everything as you can see there's just a couple of clicks i have changed the radio radius corner corner radius for all elements on our website there is no need no point for me to show you all of the sections now because i will add more all the time and i will probably change some of the sections you can see here now but as you can see everything is fully optimized for all breakpoints it, it will look great on all devices from the beginning and there is no limit of what i can include in this so this was the quick look at the new minimalist blocks library for blocks 5 i will release the first version in coming weeks 
and it will be available as a separate purchase, individual purchase, one-time purchase, and it will be available for Bloxmaster members who are subscribed, and I'm happy to say that whoever is subscribed today will get access to all of this completely free. So thank you for watching, I will talk to you in the next video.